Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the show that is nominally about Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist, but actually not, because he hasn't done anything particularly interesting since that first weekend in May when he was speaking at the Ridiculous Truther Festival. He hasn't done anything at all worth reporting on since then, so I've had to turn my attention to other nutters to, to fill that gaping wide void that I know you are desiring me to fill. But don't worry, there are plenty of British and American nutters who are dying for our attention. Case in point, this fellow. His name is Gary Waterman, and I'm sure you recognise him as the former police officer, recently turned born-again Christian, and then revealer of cosmic truths. Gary Waterman is the person who believes that he has discovered the rotten core at the heart of the British financial system, and he is desperate to tell everybody, everybody about it. And that means getting on other people's shows. He wants to take advantage of other truthers and use their platforms to amplify his message. Uh, therein lies a problem, because a lot of people don't seem to want to have him on their show. Russell Brand, many, many people have tried to contact you, contact you to get in contact with me with my evidence uh, that I've got, and um, I've heard nothing from you. I even done a video specifically hoping that you get in contact with me, and you haven't. If Gary's going to get his message out, he's going to need the help of some quite big platforms. And in the world of New Age conspiracism, there is nobody with a platform as big as Russell Brand. You know, he used to be a stand-up comedian, and now he's reinvented himself as a sort of New Age mystical shaman. He's become a born-again Christian, and he has built a, a huge audience on YouTube and Rumble. There's, there's really nobody quite like Russell if you want to promote some ridiculous propaganda or, or mystical bullshit. Russell Brand is your go-to person. Uh, so it's no wonder that Gary wants to be on Russell's channel. But Russell doesn't seem to want to have anything at all to do with Gary. In fact, I don't even think Russell has the faintest idea who Gary is. So, you know, you, you are linked through research. It suggests you are linked to a company that is also linked to this system of fraud. Uh, but that doesn't mean, you know, that people can't have the opportunity to do the right thing um, and turn things around. You've got a fantastic large platform of people, so you could quite easily turn things around with this. So I ask you, please, Russell, do the right thing and address this as it should be. You know, if literally anybody else in the world told me that Russell Brand was associated with some kind of international crime syndicate, well, I think I'd believe them, because there's something kind of shady about Russell Brand. He, he seems to me like a skeevy sort of person, a, a person who might just be, a, I don't know, a, a disreputable pest. But when the accusation comes from Gary Waterman, it just doesn't seem credible, because Gary Waterman doesn't have a particularly high horse from which to make these kinds of proclamations. As we all know now, Gary Waterman is himself a, a fugitive. He, he, He's running away from tax. He's running away from a series of county court judgments against him. And, and I don't think that makes him a particularly credible person to, uh, to uh, call to account people like Russell Brand, e even though, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe Russell Brand really is that kind of person. But you know what? Sorry, it just doesn't seem credible when the accuser is Gary. Well, this is another message directed at Russell Brand. Russell, please don't take what follows personally at all. It is not uh, a personal attack against you. You have a great platform. I have tried to get you to expose it. You can help expose it, expose it. Please get involved. Everyone deserves a chance, whether you knew or didn't know what you were part of or what you're linked to. Please do the right thing. So, Russell, please don't take this personally but Gary thinks you're a criminal. And if you don't do precisely what Gary says now, which is to feature him on your channel, to promote Gary's ludicrous conspiracy theories to your audience of six million subscribers, well, if you don't do all of those things, then uh, unfortunately, you are in some way culpable for whatever it is that Gary thinks 
you might be associated with. And, and, and I think we're going to have to try and figure out just what that is, because Gary's accusations, well, they, they tend to flow freely and quickly, but they're never very precise instruments. I produced two videos on YouTube. This is the first one. I was specifically asking Russell Brand to contact me, including an email address. Many, many other people have also posted comments on Russell's um, various videos to um, contact me as soon as possible. I heard nothing. The next, this is another video that I've did. And this within the comments and within the video specifically mentions Russell Brand as well. I have had no contact. Gary's brilliant plan is to try and get his fans to persuade Russell Brand to put him on Russell's channel by, by having them leave messages on Russell's YouTube comments. But Gary's up against the numbers because Gary only has 3,000 fans and compared to Russell's 6 million subscribers, well, that's metaphorically a, a drop in the ocean. And I don't think Russell Brand even bothers to read his YouTube comments, unlike, of course, Mind of Steel, when I read nearly everything and I reply to anything that I consider to be funny. Uh, so please leave comments and, and show your appreciation by, uh, by reacting in some very verbal and witty way to what it is I have to say to you. Uh, that's not, of course, how Russell Brand rolls, because I think he only responds to people who are paid subscribers, uh, of which I'm fairly sure that Gary Waterman and his fans are not. Now, I understand the difficult situation that people are in in this, OK? I do understand that, and I am not angry, I am not vengeful, vindictive, but it is to show that there is links through Russell to this system of fraud and corruption. Russell, please understand, I'm only doing this to try and ensure that your platform can be used to expose this system. Gary claims not to be vengeful or vindictive, but it's kind of obvious that just about everything he does, all these accusations he makes, including the original accusations made against the, the, the people of his uh, freehold company that, that he was once a director of, it's all driven by vindictive vengeance. He began this ridiculous conspiracy theory, the, the, the crazy story uh, about Lloyds Bank faking their own accounts. He began that just to get revenge against the other freeholders who sacked him as a director of the freehold company. And now he's trying the same thing with probably even less success against Russell Brand. You know, honestly, I don't have a shred of sympathy for Russell Brand, who I consider to be one of the most loathsome people on YouTube. But you know what? Maybe Gary is worse. Maybe Gary is just a, a pathetic worm, desperate for the slightest bit of attention, trying to, to get it by pleading and then threatening his way onto people's channel. And, and for some people, maybe like um, Richard Vobes, who's featured Gary three times, he, maybe there are some people who are easily threatened, or perhaps so simple of mind that Gary's arguments seem persuasive. But I, I suspect that for all his hideousness, Russell Brand is probably a slightly more sophisticated operator. And, and maybe he's operating at higher profit margins, the kinds of profit margins that don't require this former police officer turned born again Christian and now revealer of truth. You know what, Gary? The simple fact of this is, is that Russell Brand's YouTube is a highly profitable business. And he doesn't need you, Gary. He's got plenty of higher profile nutters who will make him far more money. So if you check search Russell Brand within the Companies House registration system, you'll see that it brings up two records. OK, the first one we'll look at here is a company called Mayfair Film Partnership it's here. OK, this is the overview page that we're on. If you click on the filing history and go to the oldest document and it's where the was used for the startup of the company. And this is why this is so crucial. And you will see on this document the name Barbara Cahan and an address of 788 Finchley Road. This is a very important address and name because it's actually been mentioned as being notoriously involved in international government corruption linked to dictators, uh, taxation fraud and corrupt politicians. This is precisely the same conspiracy theory that Gary alleged against Sonia Poulton. And you may remember her. She is the former 
ITN journalist who refused to allow Gary onto her YouTube show. And she's also somebody who has a relatively big channel on YouTube. She reviewed Gary's claims and found them to be completely implausible, full of factual and legal errors, the, the sort of thing only a, a child with absolutely zero knowledge about the way businesses work could have dreamt up. That was her lasting impression of Gary. And when Gary was turned down, refused, denied what he believed was rightfully his, he began a, a, a campaign of defamatory attacks against Sonia. And we see precisely the same pattern starting again, but now the target is Russell Brand, who, who seems less sympathetic to me. But do you know what? I, I don't think anybody, not even Russell Brand, deserves this kind of treatment from such a moronic twerp as Gary Waterman. And we're now looking at the second company linked under Russell's. Again, Russell, this is not personal. This is about me trying to get the evidence out to change the world. Not for me. This is about our children and what I think is very sinister things about to happen to the world. Gary says that this is nothing personal, but those of us who can hear his voice know that this is everything personal. This is revenge for a shattered, fragile ego, because Russell has done the worst possible thing to Gary. He's ignored him. And, and that is particularly bad because it's so clear that Russell is Gary's idol. Gary has lived his life as a pale facsimile of Russell. When Russell became a, a mystical New Age shamanistic Christian, Gary followed suit. When Russell became a revealer of cosmic truths, well, Gary followed in Russell's footsteps. Gary wants nothing more than to be like Russell Brand, to be with Russell Brand, but that will be forever denied because Russell Brand doesn't even know who Gary is. And this is another comment just moving down and you can look at this on the video. Someone's put, even though he didn't say anything referring to Mr. Brand, his reaction speaks volumes. And then another comment from the person that, that uh, tried making contact. Yeah, I'm sure uh, if it, I'm not sure if it was coincidence, but after mentioning Gary, Brand started to choke, ended his live broadcast. It's Tucker and Shapaya, and he's just given what um, video it is where it happened. Brand gives hand gestures to scroll the comments up as he chokes. I left him another message in his comments, I think everyone should. Gary is reading a comment from one of his fans claiming that on one of Russell Brand's shows, after mentioning Gary Waterman's name, Russell broke into some kind of fake coughing fit and then terminated the show early. Uh, you'll notice also Gary mispronounces the name Ben Shapiro, who is a, another far-right columnist who is even more odious than Russell Brand. In fact, Ben Shapiro makes Russell Brand seem like an actual saint by comparison. About this coughing fit, um, well, I tracked down the, the particular episode, thanks to the fact that that commentator left the, the, the show title and even a time code for me to, to look at. And Gary's wrong. Gary is not mentioned once in that show. In fact, I have not found a single episode of the Russell Brand show where Russell ever utters Gary's name. A congressman waved Ukraine flags after a chamber voted to pass this foreign aid package. <coughs> excuse me, that includes funding for the European nation. Let's have a, <coughs> excuse me, let's have a look at his tweet. <coughs> I've got some terrible COVID, you'll have to excuse me. <coughs> coming up later in the show, coming up. <coughs> um, excuse me, come, a bit more guys, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I need some content. Thank you. Yeah, we've got some brilliant content. If you're watching us on YouTube... And if you want all of that uh, brilliant content that Russell just mentioned, you'll have to jump over to his Rumble channel, where, where I believe it may be. Although I did spend many hours searching through his content to find that particular clip, and I, I didn't see anything that I found particularly brilliant. 
but, but maybe there's somewhere, some intersection between the, the relatively small audience of Mind of Steel and the gigantic audience of Russell Brand. Maybe there is a person who is non-ironically subscribed to both channels. And I please challenge you to, to tell me what it is that you like about Russell Brand, the, the bearded New Age shaman who, who believes that he can solve the world's problems with his many witty observations. I, I just want to know. In the meantime, we shall rejoin Gary Waterman. Gary is on one of his nature walks, and whenever he finds himself in nature, his mind always drifts to the same thing, which is all of the people who have wronged him. Russell Brand, Nigel Farage, or Sonia Poulton, and I know some of you have been receiving my messages because those that have messaged you have received responses from you. All you are doing is becoming complicit to this problem. You need to speak up. Russell Brand, you need to speak up, or Gary is going to get you. But um, I just don't think Russell Brand is ever going to respond, as are any of these other people who Gary has issued similar challenges to. Because, I, you know, I've just picked on Russell Brand because he's a person that I personally dislike. I, I don't like the kind of content he creates. Uh, but Russell isn't the only person that Gary has threatened. Russell Brand, I have not heard from you. Carol Vorderman, I have not heard from you. Dr John Campbell, I have not heard from you. All of you appear to be linked to this system of fraud via company's house registration system. That may explain why you're not responding. So I leave you now with this burning question. Why is it that Russell Brand Carol Vorderman and Dr. John Campbell have not seen fit to invite Gary Waterman onto their show. Could it be because they are implicated in a vast and cosmic fraud that has been perpetrated in partnership with the British government and its agency Companies House, the, the, the unit within the British government that registers British corporations? Could it be that they are all part of this fraud and therefore they are all seeking to lock Gary Waterman out of their platform? Or could it just be that Gary Waterman is a rude and irrelevant little twerp who has a horrible and entitled way of demanding things that he does not deserve? Which is it? You know what? I shall leave it to you to decide. And I, I want to, to have your feedback on this one. And unlike Russell Brand, I shall attempt to read and respond to as many of your comments as I possibly can. That's the kind of guy that I am. And if that's not enough attention for you. Well, Gary Waterman, you, you should take some tips from me because you can communicate with me on my Telegram channel. I, I have a Telegram channel. It's linked to from the top of my YouTube page. And if that is not enough, you can get episodes of Mind of Steel early on my Substack. Remember, the same Substack that was endorsed by Black Pilled Ham, the terrible misogynistic Nazi ham operator who has recently closed down his BitChute channel. Well, I couldn't think of a better endorsement than that. Uh, so in, until I see you in one week's time, I look forward to your interactions and your wise sayings in my comments.